sponsored by John Penton, ready to go defend the USA's honor at the International Six Day Trials is the Penton KTM 125 Six Days. Let's get ready to rumble! Dun, 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 Is no surprise, this is the best running of all the Pentons we've gotten in through the two collections we purchased because this one's got a brand new engine on it and an expansion chamber and a brand new air filter. All the all the bearings in the transmission, the, the, the crank rod is brand new and the top end's new, so there's nothing left. Uh, nothing left to do. find a better vintage KTM or a pin Penton to buy than this one buy it this thing is on point it runs just as good as it looks and they're always going to be worth more with original paint perfect frame forks look like they just came out of the box NOS polished to a chrome like finish it's ready to go man uh, right in, right right into the New England Motorcycle Museum as a centerpiece into your living room or onto the line at the next AHMRA championship event this thing's ready to win great year for the the, the penton laid down shocks the new style frame better uh, componentry and the motor's brand new juniors anything you want to add uh box we can ship the bike anywhere in the states inexpensively message us your zip code for a quote call with any questions i could ride this Shop thing on. i could ride this thing all day long that's what it's all about it's fun it's a really light Great handling, great suspension. It's got a nice plush seat, so it's easy on my 54-year-old back. And uh, just a fun bike to ride, easy to own. This is an investment quality classic that's surely to go up in value every year. Top of the morning, guys. Friday morning here. I'm all geared up, about ready to take this 
classic 1974 Penton 6 day 125 on a rip through the fall crisp air and uh, through the leaves over there. So this is going to be fun. Stay tuned. We're going to ride it in a minute. And uh, should be a, should be a blast. So let me tell you a little bit about this bike. Um, this is the 1974 Penton 125 6 day. They made three models that year. Actually, they made more, more than three, but they started with a 100cc Berkshire. This was the 125 6 day. Then they had the 175 Jack Piner, all based off the same frame. This was a big year for Penton. Uh, you can see the back seat says KTM. Pen John Penton and KTM were kind of KTM wanted their logos on the bike. They were kind of battling with John, and they eventually ended up buying them out in '78 for a big fat stack of cash. But uh, they got their name on the back of the seat. Penton, Penton designed these in the U.S. for use in, in events like the Jack Piner Enduro and uh, Eastern Motocross and Hair Scramble events. They were based out of Ohio, and John and his sons had, had a real successful run and dominated a lot of the off-road racing with these bikes. 74 was a big year for two reasons. One, they introduced the new chromoly frame with the laid down shocks, and uh, it was the um, pretty much the end of an, an, end of an era, 74.5, I think it was the last. The 74 and a half half year model, which we have one here, was I believe the last year they came over as a uh, Penton. After that, they were branded KTMs when they bought them out. Was it 78? I think it was. But anyway, back to this bike. This one's had a full frame off restoration. If you look closely at the frame, uh, the bottom of the frame rails are in pristine condition, which is the first thing I, I check for because these are designed for run, being run on really gnarly off. Uh, off-road conditions of the frame rails are pristine. In fact, the entire frame is in pristine condition. Uh, it was completely dismantled. This is a what they call a frame off restoration. The frame was completely sandblasted, uh, primered, and then painted the original factory metallic silver color. color. If you look closely down here on the swing arm, I think you can see a little bit of the metallic flake on there. So the swing arm and the entire frame were painted. While it was dismantled, the aluminum parts like the triple clamps if you look up top here, those were uh, polished and the fork lowers were polished. The um, tires and rims were dismantled and a new set of uh, Trackmaster tires front and rear were put on it with brand new tubes. A brand new chain was installed and uh, the whole bike was completely gone through. Keep in mind, now this is an original seat cover on this bike. It's in mint shape and this is the original paint and the frames have, the frame rails have no dents in them. The brake pedal and uh, pegs look brand new. This is a very low hour bike to begin with. I'd say it's probably um, certainly under 30 hours use and mild use at that. It wasn't raced in like a Jack Piner Enduro. You, you'd bend up your, your frame uh, components and pegs in, in, in heavy racing. You can see that's not the case with this one. And a real telltale sign is the condition of the tank if it was ridden in muddy conditions. This is one that was trail ridden only probably mostly grassy trails to keep it in this kind of pristine original condition. So when, when, when the um, engine was, when the frame was dismantled, the engine was completely uh, stripped down to, the, to its smallest component. The cases were split. The transmission was, was taken apart. Uh, a brand new rod was installed along with the bottom end um, bearings and gaskets. Uh, and seals, everything was replaced on the bottom end. Uh, the, the transmission had some new components installed and uh, new piston and top end uh, rings, top end gaskets, uh, bearings, everything was redone. So the motor is uh, completely rebuilt. The exhaust system that's on it, I believe is an aftermarket system, although um, I can't tell for, for sure, but I, I believe this was modified for the uh, aftermarket exhaust system it certainly does sound great you'll see in a minute and it's the fit and finish on the pipe was excellent the um front and rear fender are brand new the front number plate is new it has a new set of uh pro taper grips uh the original um handlebars were replaced with a new set of bars uh i think that's about about covers the work that was done to it again completely rebuilt motor frame off restoration uh certainly if you bought this bike in our shop, we did the engine here. Uh, the frame was previously done by, by the previous owner. He had dismantled it and did the cosmetic work but did not rebuild the motor. Uh, we, we saw fit to um, 
disassembled the motor, it wasn't shifting quite right, and it didn't sound quite right, so we took it apart and discovered it needed uh, to have the bottom end rebuilt, which we did. The um, air box was cleaned, dismantled, a new, uh, a new clamp and uh, replacement boot were put on there, along with a new air filter. The carb was rebuilt, the tank was cleaned out, and it's running Castrol 927 with VP110. So certainly uh, a well thought out bike. The um, service order that I have here for the work we did was $2,741 for all the work that was done. Uh, if you threw in the frame off on the, on the frame and the tires and the bars and everything else, this is a uh, four to $5,000 where the work was put into this bike. That's the bad news. The good news is the, the NADA retail value on it is $6,549, which is, uh, we just sold one. We just sold a, a 74 and a half, six days. Uh, the, the one same model as this for 6,500. It never even made it to, to YouTube or uh, eBay. It's, we had half a dozen people calling us on the bike. Yeah. So it, it was sold before we went up. This one's gonna go quickly too. If you look at the quality of the components, like the kicker, that looks like an NOS kicker. It may in fact be, I'm not sure. That's the way it came to us like that. The shifter looks NOS. The, um, come around this side here. The uh, brake lever looks to be an NOS component. It looks brand new. If it's not brand new, it was certainly re-chromed. That's what it came to us. It has some real nice backing plates, uh, new number plates. Just a stunning machine, and again, you, once, once a pickle becomes a cucumber, I mean, once a cucumber becomes a pickle, there's no going back. Once the frame's smashed in on, on a bike like this and everything's worn out, you, you can put lipstick on a pig, but, uh, but um, it's never the same. A low hour, non-abused bike like this with original factory paint on the tank and original frame with no repair work done in it at all in mint shape is hard to find. That's what you want to, it's like the foundation on your house. Get a frame that's mint, and if you can get an original paint one like this, you got a winner. And then it was taken to the, you know, labor of love extent where the forks were polished to brilliant shine as were the triple clamps. The original fork tubes are in mint condition. There's no, not a single nick in them, uh, which is rare. And they're usually, usually they come in all rusty after sitting in a barn, you know, with the tanks all smashed in and the frames bent and you do a frame up and you make it right but then you know the metals are still never the same once they've been abused this one here has never been abused it just uh has been you know in the you grab the rear swing arm on this thing there's zero look at this zero play anywhere the bearings are like brand new maybe they may in fact be i don't know but um the swing arm bearing it, there's zero play and that's wow just a super, super tight bike. Um, another telltale sign is to grab the uh, forks on the lowers right here and pull back and forth and see if there's any play on the triple, uh, triple clamp bearings. These are like brand new um, and you'd expect them to be with the triple clamps polished the way they are. So inside and out, it's a stunning bike. It's an original paint bike. And I think the pictures and, and the, the ride, test ride speak for, it speaks for itself. So. Uh, I would value this bike at, at every every red cent of the 6540 NADA, maybe higher because it's it's been rebuilt. The motor's rebuilt on an original paint bike, so we'll let the let the um, let you guys uh, sort out what it's worth. We'll have a little reserve on, on the bid on the auction. Uh, if you want to buy it now, call the shop. If you have any questions, give us a call 860-454-7024. Kenny, is there anything you'd like to add about this bike? We can ship it anywhere in the states inexpensively. Messages your zip code for a quote. If you need financing, call the shop line and ask to speak with Cody. If you have any questions on this particular bike, we can answer them. Email message or call us. I believe this this is the last of a of a streak of Pentons and KTM's early seventy bikes we had coming in. Right, we had what a dozen of them in the last. We've had more through two collectors, uh, one in Pennsylvania, one in Maryland. We had a, a big ship. Uh, two big shipments of Pentons and KTMs and Hodakas and socks and a lot of quality vintage bikes, Makos. This is it, right? This is where this is the tail end. This is it. We didn't see any Pentons for a year before this, and I doubt we'll see any for some time after this. Once so this one's it, gone, that's this is it, the last folks. one. That's right. Uh, we saved the best for last. This one, uh, this one took a little longer. The other ones, uh, most of the other ones, either came to us with rebuilt motors. We had to order all the parts to, to um, a new crank. Uh, shaft, uh, a connecting rod, and all the other components took a little bit more time, but this one's done right. 
I said, no excuses, bike. So good luck bidding on her and God bless America.